I got the Delamu One Cord Cable Raceway CC0315 pack off of Amazon. As it says, you can use it for hiding cables and it makes a huge difference on how everything looks when running cables through your house. This side of the box does the same thing. The other side of the box shows what's in the box. So we have 15 cable raceways, 14 couplings, six flat elbows, two inside elbows, two outside elbows, and two mounting tape. The other side of the box is blank. That side of the box is blank. Back of the box here has an image showing cables coming from the wall, running down your hall, and going to your computer. And we have a how to install the adhesive sticker. So the information on how to install the adhesive. So you can stick all these containers to the wall. All right, let's open it up first. It's wrapped in plastic. So let's take our X-Acto knife and just cut that off of there. Take all that plastic off there. Looks like we got two tabs here. It says lift them up, pull these stickies off. And we should be able to open up the box. Let's take a look inside. So this kit is for single cords. So I have a single cord that I'm going to run down the hallway, a single coaxial cord. We have our installation guide here, Delamu, Cable Con Clear Raceway, installation guide. It says, make your life safe and neat. All right, so we'll take a look at that. So we have our adhesive tape here, our elbow brackets here, more brackets here, and our long raceways here. Let's set it up. So here's the coaxial cable that we have taped to the wall. These are single wire covers, so the wire is just going to fit in there just like so. Then I can snap the cover on top. So I'm going to start off by putting the stickies on these covers, I stick them on the wall, and then I'll insert my cable into it. Here's another look at before we put the covers on. For the corner leading up to the door, I'm going to use one of these round covers. Here's our raceway cover. So I'm just going to slide the cover under the clip of our round corner. That will cover up the wire as we're turning the corner. Then I'm going to do another one for the other side of the door. So just slide that in there. Next up, I'm going to get some of the adhesive tape. Undo the tape on it so we can stick the back of our covers to the wall. So this is double-sided adhesive tape. So I'm going to take the piece that we're going to attach to the wall and then stick this tape to it. Okay, now I have the tape on the piece that we're going to stick to the wall. I'm just going to cut off the end here. So I'm just going to cut that off. Then I'm just going to peel the corner of the backing of this tape and peel the back off. So now the other side is sticky. And at this point, we can stick this to the wall. So before I'm sticking this to the wall, I'm just going to slide it right back into the cover so I know exactly where to put it. I'm also going to put tape on another raceway back. This way I have both directions already inserted into the corner bracket when I attach them to the wall. Just cut the end off there. Of course, we need to get the back off of this piece as well so we can stick this part to the wall. I'm going to slide the cover back on it and attach the corner bracket. Alright, now we're all good to go and we can attach it to the wall. Just going to move the wire out of here for now. Take the tape off of it. Same with the bottom. Take the tape off. Make sure everything looks good. And just attach the cover. Press it on there. Make sure it sticks to the wall. That's looking good to me. Now I'm just going to take the covers off. I'm just going to peel those off. Okay, so now the covers are off. We can thread the wire through. wire in there, put the covers back on. Okay, 
Okay, that corner bracket did not work out so well for this. It's a little bit of a tight of a turn for coaxial wire, but still looks better than it was. Here's the before look running up to the wall outlet. You could put these on the wall first, or I have the wire on the wall, so I'm just putting them onto the wire and then sliding on the cover. Just like so, sliding the cover over and then sticking them on the wall. The next section is too long, so I'm going to need to cut it before I attach it to the wall. So I'm just gonna place this next piece in here and make a mark where to cut. I'm gonna use this handsaw I got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar to cut the cord cover to length. I'm just going to cut on our line here. Probably should have used a regular hand saw, but this will do. Now that we have our piece cut to size, let's take off the cover and let's see if it fits in that slot. It's looking to be a bit of a tight fit, so I'm going to shave some off the end here. So I cut a little more off the end to make it fit in between these. And that looks quite nice. That looks like that will fit in there just nicely, so I'm going to get the sticky and put it on the back. Now I have the sticky attached. I'm going to slide it on here, turn it, and get my cover on it. That one did not line up quite as well, so it didn't line up quite as well over here, but overall it'll look okay. I'm going to slide on the next piece here. So I was able to get around the corner with the coaxial and the angle plate. Here's a look around the door. Now I'm going around the corner, so I have two of the covers inserted into the corner bracket so I could see how they are when they'll be stuck to the wall, and I'm going to measure out with the pencil how long to cut the corner running along this side of the wall. So right there looks good to me. I'm just going to mark this with my pencil and then I'm going to cut that off with the saw that I have. Here's the raceway fully installed. Going behind this TV stand. As you can see there it is along the trim. Here it is going up and over the door, is at the top of the door, and the bottom of the door. There it is going down to the end of the wall. There it is rounding the corner, going down the hall. As you can see, it blends in real well with the trim. All the way down this wall. The wall was bowed a little here. That's why you see it sticking out a bit. behind the TV and then the coaxial cable for the antenna is plugged into the TV and that's how it looks from the front you don't see any cable just goes behind the TV and plugs into the TV the raceway makes everything look really nice if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching